first person I can do uh, with a dummy. Uh, that retrieving dummy for. Oh, let me get that out. Uh, for our gun dogs. So, first, get, uh, most of this is done out of old bits of leather, all sorts, you know. Look, we've got loads of it here. Look, all, all, all off cuts of leather. You can probably see that, hopefully. This is what I'm down to now till I get some more stuff in. So, I thought, right, with the off cuts, I can make some, uh, make some dummies now. This is a, a puppy one. Um, I charge eight pounds for these, so um, for the first thing I do, well, we know that's all on, is I just stitch around, I trim up later, um, and then uh, uh, I fill it up with um, it's mixed corn that I, I use that way. If one does leak, only on the puppies, I don't put um, a waterproof bag in, but the other, the uh, one pound dummies. Um, of which I charge £10 for those I put in a waterproof bag but if they did get out and the dog happened to be chewing so I ain't going to do them any harm so without further ado what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, move that it's just an ordinary cap spray cap to give me the circle on the ends I'm going to just stitch around here like this and then I'm going to leave this end open and um, stuff it with some corn so bear with me um, I'll be two seconds and I'll get, uh, get the machine going on it. Right, so without further ado, you'll just see the machine going for a moment. And I won't be a second. Oh, turn that on. That's that done, as you can see. I just uh, sit set around there like that. I've stopped up here because I'm going to be filling this end. So, yes, I left me. Didn't know if I'd left the old soldering iron on. Brilliant. I've got a habit of doing that actually. So there you go. Right, so that's going to go in there. Burn them ends off there like that. I suppose to a lot of you it's like watching paint dry, isn't it? <laughs> well, here we go. Let's uh, get this right here. I'm going to go straight down here. I'm going to trim this right up close to the stitching. These are handy tools, these are rotary blades. But um, it's the blades that cost the money. I think I paid about, uh, I don't know what it was, about eight pounds or something. I thought, and I thought I was purchasing. Bear with me. 
I thought I was purchasing these, um, which is what they are. I thought, yeah, great. Where have I had? Just one. There was one blade in there, and I thought, oh, that's a bit expensive. I found somewhere online that does them now. They come in a different, they come in a different holder. They come in this holder. But um, you get, I think you get about five or six in there. Um, and they're only about four pound. So who's having who over? <laughs> All right, let's uh, trim that off as well. Get that out of the way. Because I should be. Um, yeah, let's give that, get that off of there. The only difference is I've found with these ones I get online. They tend to, the edge tends to go off them very quick, so um, but I can live with that. You just put a bit more pressure on to cut it, that's all. There we are, that's trimmed off there. Get our scissors and I'll just trim this bit off here. I'm hoping this is in view, should be. As I say this to me, um, I'm actually uh, videoing this on the um, Contour Rome camera. It's one of those you can either put on a helmet or I have it at the side of my face, uh, side of my head. Oh, you can't see. I just put it to the side where my temple is. It's got a, um, a mount, you know, a proper lacicated um, adjustable mount. And... Um, it, it's uh, it's great. And what happened? What it was? I don't think I'd updated it, the firmware. So um, it, I I couldn't get it going anyway. I got my um, nephew to to um, have a look at it. Um, he's an IT tech bloke, and um, he managed to sort it out for me. Bless him. He's a good lad. Well, I'm just what I'm going to do now. I'm off camera. I know, but. Um, it's because this corn's in, in their bag. Another little tip, I'll get this mixed corn. It's mainly corn, actually. Um, let's get this little screwdriver and poke it downward. Um, all I'm doing is I'm putting a bit of corn in here and I'm poking it down. Poking it down like that. And... Um, so I get this from what they used to call shop. I get this corn from um, they used to call scats. They used to call it. It's now called uh, oh I don't know uh, what the name of it. Anyway, they've changed names now. I thought well, that's a bit silly, really, isn't it? But there you go. Just give it a bit of a bash against my hand. And of course the trouble is when you do that, it's like a cosh, the old police, policeman's cosh. That was leather but it had sand in it. And if he hit you with that, you knew it. Oh, it did hurt. Just put a bit more in there. And then what I'll do is, um, let's hope the camera stands up to it. I'll bash it on the old bench here. Brutal, aren't I? See how far we can go. Where's me? Oh, go a bit more, I think. Yeah, get a little bit more in there. Otherwise, it just go all too floppy. You know what I mean? Now, I think. There we go. I think that'll do. Just poke it down a bit more, it gives me a bit more room to um, stitch that up. Now bear with me people, I'll be back with you two sets, I'm just going to stitch this up now.
Bag. Nice little soft one, a little bit pliable. Puppies will love that. It's something to start off with, but um, I suppose you should have got all that down there. Burn off the ends, as I say. Oh dear, 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 there we go. This is the end of Sunday evening now. I've already made them other things and leads and some collars. As I say, I'm out of, uh, out of leather now, so <coughs> I've had that. Can't do nothing till tomorrow. Trim that off around by the... Uh, By the stitching. I mean these are easy and quick to make you know the little puppy ones but when you've got um, the adult ones well we're looking a little bit dearer now you know and it's uh, a little bit longer. But there we have it. Blind man will be glad to see it. I just roll it about like that for a little while. Have a slurp of my tea. There you go. Nice little puppy dummy. You can get hold of that without it hurting his mouth. It's not heavy. In fact, we can weigh it. I'll do that for you as well. No charge. <laughs> right, you get the old scales on there. Take them out. These are kitchen scales, by the way. All right, love. Oh, sandwich. Thank you very much. That's where they went, did they? What? Kitchen scales, my kitchen scales. No, I bought these. When? Ages ago. Because I've got a set like that in the kitchen already. Somewhere here. Yeah. Somewhere. Oh. What's that? That's a, yeah, just over half a pound there. Eh? Half a pound. That's not bad. Oh, that was a wife says you just put me a nice sandwich. Um, she caught these scales and she said, oh, they're my scales, kitchen scales. Oh, they're not really. <laughs> I bought these. She's got a pair, but she forgets where she puts them. <laughs> so, you know, and uh, I've got a little home for my little place in me manor. But there you go. Um, right. No more to be said and done. That's all done and dusted. There it is. One little puppy dummy. All complete. Bob Joe will finish, right? And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheerio.